Shalom. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Now, I'm going to come here today and talk a little bit about this, um, the dangers of tanning beds. Tanning beds, you know, where you go lay in a, you pay money and go lay in the tanning bed, and you had this UV artificial lighting shining down. It's like a purple lights. Shining down on your body and your flesh and your skin. Giving you an artificial tan. It's kind of like a man-made tanning system that man has created. Now, the, the, now if you, you lay in that tanning bed long enough, you might get a tan. But it also causes a lot of brown spots. You're splotchy. Your skin gets all splotchy and stuff. And um, you can really tell a tan. You can tell an artificial tan from a natural sunlight tan. You can really tell the difference. Believe me, you. I can tell the difference. Now, these uh, UV tanning beds are uh, artificial UV lighting. And, um, you know, they cause, it pretty much fries your insides, your inside inner organs. It cooks your inner organs. And it causes a lot of uh, the cancers, skin cancer, uh, melatonin, melatonin, skin cancer. And it, uh, you lay in them too much, too, quite too often. You might you might get some cancer or some some skin cancer or something. I mean I, I'm telling you sisters, go out here on on your day off work or something. Go out here in your backyard where you have some privacy in a secluded area where you don't have a lot of people a lot of peeping perverted times or something like that. Go out here in the backyard or something. And, where you have a fenced-in backyard or some, a privacy area, or you live out in the rural area, you know nobody's gonna be around. Go, go, let, you know, spread a towel or you, your your lounge chair out there in the backyard and get you a natural suntan, sisters. You know what? On your day off, I I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. I hear you. I know. I know what it's like to work, work, work. Got kids to, to, to tend to, and you, you got you got to take them up to baseball practice or basketball practice and dance lessons and and, and all this kind of ballerina, uh, and everything, uh, band practice and, and all this kind of stuff. I hear you there, sister. It's hard to find some you time. I know what you're talking about, but sister. When you have some some spare time, you you gotta you gotta make some you time. You need to talk to the talk to the man of the household and say, hey, you go go to, go to your man of the household and say, look here, honey, I need to go lay out and get a suntan in the backyard for about an hour and a half or something, two hours. Can you tend to the children for a couple hours, keep them occupied for a couple hours while I go lay out? And get some sun t suntan out here in the backyard. I'm sure you know, if your your husband truthfully loves you, he's gonna he's gonna work a deal with you. He's gonna strike out a deal for that. Yeah. Because I mean, uh, a lot of these uh, men in today's society, they like a sister with a with a dark hue to her skin. You know what I mean? They they, they find that uh, they like that. They like a sister with a dark hue to her skin. A tan, you know. So, um, you talk to your husband, and I'm sure you can, you got, between the two of you, you can work something out where you can lay out an hour and a half, two hours a week, and get you some natural sunlight from the natural sun rays to tan your body. I'm sure, sister, you, you it's much more healthier it's a better option. You get vitamin D from the sunlight as well. So, I mean, it's an all-around good choice, good option, sisters. Get you some natural sunlight now, my sisters. 
Avoid these tanning salons, tanning beds, this artificial fake tans. Go out here in the backyard and lay out in natural sunlight, my sister, and get you a beautiful tan from the creator of the universe's creations. Get you a beautiful tan, sister. Shalom. Shalom.